वेलकम बैक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी फाइनली इंटीग्रेटेड द सर्चिंग फंक्शनैलिटी एंड नाउ वी आर ऑलमोस्ट डन विद आर पॉकीडेक्स एप्लीकेशन वी नाउ हैव द फंक्शनैलिटी टू सर्च पोकीमोन्स बाय देयर नेम द ओनली फंक्शनैलिटी विच इज रिमेनिंग इज सेलेक्टिंग द पोकीमोन टू सी मोर डिटेल्स विच लुक्स समथिंग लाइक दिस Let's implement that very quickly. It's very very simple, just like our old previous features. This is also going to be very straightforward, and you are going to have a lot of fun while implementing this. Perfect. So now, first of all, again, uh, let's let's try to first handle the click of a particular Pokemon. So let's go inside our Poki Card component. Let me go inside my Poki Card component. and here let me add again an on click event in the input box we had an on change event but here let's have an on click event and now i'm just going to log the name of the pokemon that i am clicking on so we already have the name present here perfect so this was a very simple change let's try whether it's work, it works or not so let me open uh, my log and let me click on a particular pokemon so now whenever i click on a particular pokemon i have the name present with me so i have the access to the name so very similar to what we did in the previous video let's create a function in our app component which is going to handle the click let me call it handle click itself handle click and uh, let me define it the input it's going to take is going to be the name of the pokemon so i'm going to call it pokemon name and it's going to be of type string and so uh, let's again uh, destructure all pokemons from the state equal to this dot state perfect so now we have the name of uh, we have all the pokemons so the next two steps that we are going to do is basically first of all we are going to find the selected pokemon from all pokemons uh, a better way to do that could you have been find the selected pokemon from the searched pokemon because we know that the things the pokemons the cards that are appearing on the screen can never go beyond uh, searched pokemon so yes uh, to make it more efficient you can instead of finding it on all pokemons you can you can find that you can find them on searched pokemon itself but it's completely fine it's completely your choice and the next step would be to update the state perfect so in within the two steps we are able to we will be implementing this perfect let's do this so i'm going to call uh, i'm going to create a new variable that is going to contain my selected pokemon and i'm going to find the selected pokemon by a find method on all pokemons again if we are going to have a pokemon which is going to be of type pokemon schema and on that we are just going to do this pokemon dot name is equal to pokemon name perfect so if pokemon dot name is equal to pokemon name then we are going to find that and store it in the selected pokemon and we are going to very quickly update the state using this dot set state with the selected pokemon this is perfect so and now as you all know we are going to pass down our selected pokemon and our handle click inside our pokedex component so first of all let's pass down the selected pokemon as this dot state dot selected pokemon perfect and also let's let's pass down the handle click function uh we can pro probably handle it like this um on pokemon click or anything the name can be anything you already know this dot not state this dot handle click cool so yeah uh, as we expected we will face error here because we did not define it inside our pokedex interface of props perfect let's define it let's define the pokedex interface of props uh let's go here and first of all let's add the selected pokemon the selected pokemon is going to be pokemon schema or undefined we already know that it it is going to be undefined at the start so yes perfect and now one more thing to add that is on pokemon click 
So this on Pokemon click is going to be the same as above. It's going to be input value and input value. Let's name it as uh, the same as Pokemon name and perfect. So now we have this thing functional here. Let's extract out our props here as well. Perfect. And let's extract out in uh, this one in the on Pokemon click as well. Perfect. So now we have the props in place. Let's pass down. First of all, let's pass down the selected Pokemon inside our Poke search result. So selected Pokemon is going to be selected Pokemon. Again, we are going to see an error. We know because we did not define the type of the props here. We can do that very, very quickly by interface Poke search result props. You already know this is this is something which I follow that um, the name of the component followed by props is what I uh, what I follow for the type of the props. So again, it's going to have selected Pokemon, which is going to be of the type Pokemon schema or undefined. Perfect. This is also done. I hope I'm not going too fast because this is something super simple, which we have already done thousands of times. So that's why I'm I'm going too fast here. And I, if you face any difficulty in understanding this, please feel free to mention it in the comment section. Perfect. So now let's remove the selected Pokemon. So now the code that we have here will actually work because it will check if the selected Pokemon is not undefined, then it will show this. Otherwise, it will show this. So now let's add the actual values instead of the dummy values here. Let's do one thing. Let's destructure out the actual values from the selected Pokemons. Everything that we need here is going to be name, ID, height, and let's let's uh, destructure it. Selected Pokemon. So since selected Pokemon can actually be undefined, so let's or it with an empty object because it can be undefined. So you already know that this this thing here this statement is equivalent to saying const name equal to selected pokemon dot name so if i comment this out so we already know that this is this but now we know that the selected pokemon can be undefined here so if it's undefined then it won't it will show you an error it will throw an error so that's why we need to be safe and that's why i put this Perfect. Let's extract out weight. Let's extract out base experience and let's extract out these sprites as well. Perfect. We now have everything in place. Let's replace it one by one, name by name, ID by ID and uh, height by height, H-E-I-G-H-T. Perfect. And weight by weight. Perfect. And base experience by base experience perfect and let's also quickly add the image here as well perfect so now we have the image so the src of the image is going to be again sprites sprites uh, again sprite is also optional it might be undefined so we are using this particular operator here sprites dot animated or if animated sprite is not present then sprites dot normal Perfect. So now we have this and let's provide it a class name as well. Just to style it a little bit. Let's provide it in alt as well. Alt Pokemon and the class name is going to be, um, let's say Pokemon animated sprite. That seems perfect. Cool. So now we have Pokemon animated sprite and now let's define the styles in the uh, yes, here it is Pokemon search results inside the Pokemon search results. Let's define the styles as height 120 pixels width 120 pixels once again and padding as 12 pixels perfect 12 pixels Cool. So now that we have this in place, the only thing remaining is to make the click handle click functional. So how will we do that? We are going to do that by passing on the on click inside the pokey list. Again, we are going to directly pass it on to the pokey list. We know that pokey list interface does not have uh, an on Pokemon click here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this here. Perfect. So now that we have this in place, so we can easily extract it out from props 
and we can directly pass it down on my Pokey card. So inside my Pokey card, whenever I click something, I need to be able to handle it. So let's go inside Pokey card and let's also add it in the interface of the props as well here as well. And let's extract it out from my props. And now instead of console.log, I'm going to call on Pokemon click of the name that's it that's it and now we are done with our pokedex application that's that's it that's completely it and now you're going to see that it works perfectly fine we can search for a pokemon and we can click on that pokemon to see the details of that pokemon so yep charmander charmeleon chimchar and every every pokemon is there we are done with our application so don't forget to apply for your free t-shirt again uh, so let me remind you this free t-shirt giveaway that i am doing is just to increase the enthusiasm towards being an active learner i'm not getting i'm not earning a single penny from my youtube videos i don't run ads because you know that uh, running ads can make tutorials boring and slow as well so that's why i don't put ads on my youtube videos but i am doing this only for you only for you so that you can be enthusiastic about building stuff coding is not about watching tutorial videos trust me guys trust me on this one coding is not about watching tutorial videos coding is about implementing the things that you learn so i am just to just to increase that enthusiasm towards making projects this whole series i had did this whole series of an app a month i started off with the name it application next month we built a speedy type application next month we built a flexbox cheat sheet and this month we have built a pokedex application all of this to increase the enthusiasm in you to be able to build stuff to be an active learner and just for that i'm doing a t-shirt giveaway as well so this is going to be a super cool t-shirt which will be i am learning react from lean and i hope that you feel super super proud that you are learning react js from me because i know i am a great teacher okay jokes apart uh, let me know how do i teach please feel free to mention it in the comments that will help me grow as well that will help me improve your feedback of course will help me improve so do put your feedback in the comment section let me know let me know how do you feel about my teaching style let me know how do you feel about my accent let me know how do you feel about the way i structure things let me know how do you feel about the way i make my presentations let me know how do you feel about the way i teach in general in the comment section i would be really really very happy so coming back to the t-shirt giveaway so i have started this giveaway a monthly giveaway where i will be giving one free t-shirt to one winner who will make the most likable application so what you need to do now is you need to make some changes in this application you can be very very creative here you can add some animations you can make the improve the styles you can improve the font sizes you can improve the font family anything that you want just make your own unique touch give your own unique touch to this application or even if you don't want to give a unique touch you might be lucky that if everyone did not make any uh, make uh, any any sort of edit to this then we will be going with the lucky draw and you might be lucky so yes but one of the uh, one, there will be one winner who is going to get this particular t-shirt i am learning react from lean you need to do you need to follow these five steps five simple steps first of all go to instagram and follow me my handle is the lean programmer then subscribe to my youtube channel which i think you already have done now which is youtube.com slash the lean programmer one more thing go to my uh, newsletters subscribe to my newsletters which is tinyletter.com slash the lean programmer the step one is post on instagram or linkedin just put up as many posts as you can because 50 percent of the weightage which is going to decide if you are you're going to be a winner or not will be the cumulative number of likes and comments on all your posts so if you make 10 posts if you make 20 posts if you make 100 posts 
it's it's going to be in your benefit so that people can get to know a lot more about my free courses so that so that they can also learn so yes i hope you'll support me in this and i really really want your support because i want my free content my absolutely free content to reach more people so post on linkedin and feel proud about it that you are learning from my react tutorial Step two is now that you have already finished uh, this YouTube tutorial, just make some unique changes or even if you want, you can skip this. Now, step three is create a small video or GIF or a screenshot of your project and post it on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram or TikTok, any one of them or all of them. As I said, your um, your total will be taken by the number of uh, likes and comments that you get and mention that you are learning react from my tutorial series don't forget to mention me i would love to see your your uh, particular uh, versions of the poogie decks and now come back to this form the link to this form is mentioned here the link to the form is the lean programmer.com slash aam slash giveaway one note this down somewhere and this is also present in the uh, description of this comment uh, in the description of this video as well the lean programmer.com slash aam slash giveaway one so now what you want to do is host this pokedex application that you built and then fill up this form this form uh, you, this is a very simple form you'll need to enter your name your email address so that i can contact you link to your deployed application this is something super important because i will be needing your link to the deployed application for the final poll so 50 percent of the weightage is on the number of likes that you are going to get and 50 percent is on the total votes that i will get on the poll that i will put up on your uh, application so yes there will be a list of applications and uh, whoever the public likes most it will be all on public so yes we are going to select that so it will be completely up to them perfect so the link to your de de deployed application and link to all your linkedin posts that you have made till now please provide every link so that i can calculate a total of how many likes or shares or comments you got perfect and then you can also mention your whatsapp number it's completely optional it will make it easier for me to contact you and yeah uh, do provide your feedback here on what all things do you like about my tutorial series what all things do you like about my teaching style what all see, uh, things do you like about the way i put forward the content and so on so that's it a very very simple form and i would love to hear from you and again just a simple thing uh, this is um, only for indian people so i'm really sorry for this but given the scenario uh, given the increase of cases in india um, i'm not able to do this giveaway outside india right now because of the limited resources that i have right now i hope that you will understand this so yes that's that's it that i wanted to say keep learning keep implementing and keep keep stay in touch with me and be an active learner guys so once again everything that i do is just to make you an active learner so because i love when people learn something new and I, I love to see people learning something new that's it for today that's it for this project i am, am i will be waiting for your responses on this form which is the lean programmer.com slash aam slash giveaway one just a simple thing the deadline to fill up this form is 22nd may don't forget about this 22nd may see you um, in the next projects bye bye